Hi everyone, this is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel, Short Rest Manga. Today, spring is in the air, birds are chirping, the snow is almost gone in Boston. It is time to just kind of open all the windows and do a little bit of spring cleaning. So I thought I would also do that for my manga collection. I'm going to reorganize it today. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have got a sneak peek that I did get a new bookshelf and I built it last night. So I'm very excited about that and I'm going to be putting all my manga on that today. So I'm going to be taking down stuff from this shelf. I'll show you guys a before and after of what it looks like and just kind of reorganizing and trying to narrow down some series that I do kind of want to part ways with. I have a hard time letting go of things because I think everything's pretty good. It, finds, it takes a lot for me to hate a series so or just not be interested in it anymore. I always want to give something a chance so I kind of hold on to things. So. Um, maybe today I'll be able to take some things off the shelf, but we'll see. <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> okay, so let's get moving some manga. So this is what my collection looks like right now. I do have a few series on my other bookshelf as like an overflow area, so I'm excited to hopefully get all of my manga in one place. <laughs> the floor is uneven, so that'll be exciting to do <laughs> for a larger bookcase. Yeah, we'll start taking this stuff off and uh, bringing in the new bookcase.
So there you guys go, that's my new setup for my manga collection and I'm super happy with it. I knew I wanted to a Billy from the beginning and I'm so glad I finally got one. I did go with the birch veneer instead of white. I remember last time in my last video I'd mentioned I'm looking for a white shelf, mainly because the white would look better in this room that I'm currently in as my office. Um, but overall, I have a, another Billy of this kind in my living room, so eventually if the shelves are ever together in the same room, which they probably will be at one point, I wanted them to like <laughs> match versus just having two different colors. Uh, so I tried to think a little bit more ahead because I won't be in this tiny room <laughs> forever, at least I hope. <laughs> I had so much fun reorganizing and putting things on the shelf. I know hindsight, I should have spaced them out much more because I do have manga coming and I know series I want to continue, still have volumes, so I, so I should have left space for that. But I was having so much fun in the moment, just like putting the puzzle together and making it uh, just kind of look full that I had so much fun, that I have so much space. I have like pretty much three whole empty shelves with how I stack them, but I know that's going to change. I'm going to change it up again. Within the last week or so, or maybe two weeks, uh, a lot of people in the manga community have on YouTube have posted them reorganizing their collections or like cleaning and moving around their collections and I think it's also just like part of spring I was like it's so funny that there's so many of us doing this reorganizing video of some kind of different ways um all in like the same time so I definitely think it's that it's a good sign that spring is here uh when the manga collectors are dusting and moving and cleaning their collections um so and from those videos I saw a bunch of people do like kind of like what they do in the bookstore. They have like a front facing cover and I think it's a great way to save space because you can put some manga behind it and it just looks pretty. You can show off some of your favorite covers and you can definitely see me <laughs> probably struggling in this video because I had never done it before. Um, so it was a little tricky um, to get them to stand up but uh, it was a lot of fun and I hope you guys liked the video. Leave a comment down below on how you guys uh, organize your collections. I'm really interested to hear. I know a lot of people do it by size. Um, some people do it by mangaka. I'm, I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> I don't do that. Uh, I usually just do it by size and I think this time, yeah, I did it through like shonen, seinen, and then kind of just everything else and then one shelf for like a little bit oversized volumes. So uh, pretty simple. But yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week for another one. Bye guys.